Today we're being joined by Dakota Sexton from the Peel Thunder Waffle W side and potential draft prospect. Dakota, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. Now, right, tell us a bit about yourself. What got you into footy and what type of player you are? Um. Well, when I was a kid, I was kind of just sports, trying to figure out what was fit for me. And yep. then in the six, me and my friend decided to join the his footy team. Yeah. I loved it. Then we got the 7-9 skip from – um, that was HBL. Then I went mm -hmm. to West Coast Hill and now I've just stuck with Pitt. Uh, very good. Now, obviously, being a defender, Dakota, so what would you say some of your biggest strengths as a footballer? Um, I'll probably say my strength. I like to think that I'm quite like, physically strong. Like, I can hold a tackle, um, handle a bomb. Like, <laughs> so that's uh, very good. That's, that's good. So, in terms of, you know, using your strength as a strength um would you say you mentioned about being physical um how do you go about it do you f feel much pride in knocking people down or annoying them by giving a little nudge here and there oh, definitely when you get a good tackle you can't feel good about yourself you're like oh, that was nice that's right um obviously at peel thunder obviously a side that's on the on the win loss side of things you know hasn't gone to plan so far how have you assessed your season this year and the team season um, as a team, obviously we're not getting the wins, but really a development. It's like with you girls, like young. See what happens. For me, this year I really build on my consistency in just like improving every game. Because last year, I was inconsistent, inconsistent. Like, mm. want to make. Sure my best every game and yeah so obviously you've been at Peel Thunder as you mentioned for a little while now Dakota so throughout your whole time there who would you say is some of your favorite teammates you've close got a close bond with I'm sure there's a fair few you to mention here definitely well all the girls love them all but probably mm -hmm. like Ari Kira Kate Newsom they moved over to South Freya this year though a little bit dirty on her for that but <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, no, she... Really, just all they're all a great bunch of girls. Uh, very good. Now, on the topic, Dakota, of teammates, who loves the limelight, the attention, the camera at the Peel Thunder Club? And they can't get enough of it and they know exactly what to do when that camera's around. Oh, I feel like I like it a little bit, to be honest. But then at the same time, we do cop a fine if we get like a meet, like we media. So then at the same time, I would say we all don't like it. Um, oh, and then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. It's all good. Um, you know, obviously I've had um, a few of the girls on from Peel Thunder and the ones that come to mind is Ava. Uh, I always pronounce her last name wrong or sometimes I get it right. Ava, Christ you, know, you know who I'm talking about. And obviously Georgia Haynes and Holly Britton. So have they caught fines with doing this as well? Do you know? Um. I'm not sure, actually. Oh, well, <laughs> well, here's what happens here, Dakota. If they find you, basically just throw them under the bus. Yeah, I'll be like, oh, I'm not the only one. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, come on. There's one, two, three, four, et cetera. <laughs> not the only one. That If they do that, that would be a good way to come back and see what happens. And then they might let you off and they might not. All right, so on the topic of teammates still, Dakota, so – who are some teammates for you that kind of fly under the radar a little bit, that don't get talked about as much as you feel they should and kind of don't get appreciated, at least from a public point of view at least? Um, probably Holly Bilsic. She keeps going on the wing. She runs everywhere. She knows how to play his head. She's physical. Like, who else? Oh. I'll get to I've got to shout out Keely as well, her yep. and Zoe Bailey, obviously moving over from Victoria to just mesh so us. That's so, like really good of them, both quality players themselves. Yeah. Yeah. That's, <laughs> for sure. That's fair. Oh, 
It's funny. There's Zoe's another one I've had on. So there you go. See, there's another one. So if she hasn't copped it either, there's another one you can add to that list. Um, there's, there's a few victims you could put on that list if they make you a victim by getting fined. So there you go. You know, add, sorry, sorry, Zoe, but you can add her to the list as well. Um, all right. So hmm. now this is the part where I bring up teammate questions i'll continue the teammate trends because this is something we get some really good answers out of who would you say is the best chatterbox dakota at the club oh there's definitely we can all oh okay um i'm gonna say uh, chelsea she's really like not i wouldn't say a chatterbox but she's really good at hyping the girls up like getting around everyone like she's just really good at that um you want that yeah definitely yeah Definitely more than that. And uh, this one can also be similar to this one, but may not be. Who would say is the loudest and quietest teammate, Dakota? Oh, probably. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> Chelsea and Georgia are definitely up there for loud. <laughs> that's, um, quietest. Probably. Mm, might have to say Anna. She's quite quiet. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. I'm, I'm not even making this up. I've also had Chelsea Hutchinson on as well, who you just mentioned there. <laughs> you can her to the list. You can add Riley Fisher to the list as well. They were both on at the same time. So you can add, see, there's more. There's more to be uncovered. <laughs> the back team's going down if we all get caught. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so, exactly. Let them know that if that happens. <laughs> now, yeah. now. Um, all right. Um, I don't f think I've forgotten anyone. I feel bad now if I've gotten someone because I've just named about 10. Um, so now who are some teammates you – so if you're stuck on deserted island with teammates, Dakota, who are you bringing and not bringing and why? Oh. Uh, um, I'll bring – Good mate, obviously. Need some – I'm going to think who has, like, good survival skills. Mm. Mm. I'll bring Crystal. I feel like she'll know what she's doing about it. And... Damn, that's actually tough. That, that's, that's fair. And this is sometimes, you know... Some, some some traits to code for someone that you wouldn't want to bring. Like if someone was to do something, you're like, okay, you do that, you're not coming. Would there be a certain thing that you say you would put that in that spot that you say not coming if you do this? Uh I couldn't name anyone, but probably we just try to boss everyone around. Like we're on a dessert, got to help each other out. <laughs> Can't have no. people open at each other, and yeah, that sort of stuff. Absolutely. You, you can't have all that happening. All right. Now, obviously, Dakota, as you mentioned, playing in the back line and you mentioned some of your strengths being physical, and I love that because that's that's pretty funny. Your biggest strengths are your strengths, which I like. That's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. Now, in terms of goals you set for yourself this year, Dakota, personally, um, what are some goals you set for yourself? Definitely, like I said before, consistency. I want to build a big – like, I want to be consistent with my game. Um obviously just develop more be open to like positions positions like wherever they're needed um oh, develop skills further obviously is always room to improve sure yeah probably just develop as a player and a person like yeah. grow that's all right that's good so how how tough is it dakota being in a club that's in a position at the moment for now Hopefully not for much longer. You know, they haven't won a game this year. How how do you keep the morale up? How do you keep the energy up? Um, how, how do you cope with all that as a team and individually as well? Obviously, it's it's tough when you're constantly giving your all, but you're just not getting the results. But yeah. we are quite a, like, tight unit, and we all – no one struggles to, like, build each other up. And we not – I think we're pretty aware that it's – quite a development year for us like we're obviously still striving to win and stuff but we're quite self state and that sort of stuff but like just 
the Eagles, like even their waffle team, they didn't want their waffle team won a game in like 100 and something days. But that's just um, by group chat, and they're like, well, literally, basically, keep your heads up because like you never know what's going to happen. Just because mm. you go, it doesn't mean like that's how it's going to be. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously, you girls have got Claremont this week on Sunday. Um, how do you feel you go there? And uh, I'm sure, yeah, they're, they're going terrific at the moment, but that probably makes it a better thing, though, if you win, if you're beating someone that's at the top rank the yeah. ladder as well. Well, definitely we'll give it a cold, hard crack like we have been. Um, yeah. See how that goes. Our, our biggest problem aspect we can improve right now is like, converting on the scoreboard. Yeah. We are like competing with these. We're just unable to score, which is obviously a big key factor when it comes to winning. But <laughs> yeah, um, hopefully, hopefully we just give it a crack. See how we go this weekend. And yeah, if we can't score and beat them, may as well try and match at least. Exactly. Just uh, put those strengths of yours to the test and annoy them in another way as well. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna win. Yeah. They got to fight for it. <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna yeah make them earn the win if they were to get it. Obviously, you don't want the other team to win, but make them earn it at least. If they're winning, then let make them earn it. Now, um, how's it been like for you playing against these sides that have had AFLW players that come around in those oppositions that you played? And have you had the chance to either match up on any of them at any point? Uh, being completely honest, uh, obviously, like I've bumped them, like, tackled them, whatever, like, that sort of stuff, like, played around them. I'm not sure if I've matched up with any. Okay. Oh, but, yeah, it's definitely, you definitely see the difference in their skill, the, like, higher level. You just, like, what their still is to achieve. And, but, like, obviously, they've come from somewhere like we have too, so it, like, also gets, like, well, they've really gone through the pathway that we have too, so... Mm, that's right. You, yeah, I'm here. Sorry, I don't know. That drops out sometimes, but that's right. How beneficial Dakota is it to to have um these players playing the competition, even if you're not matching up on them, like you said, but like just to kind of learn the ropes there about how they go about it. I know it's not it'd be ideal to train with them and you know have them play in your team to know them a bit more on an individual basis, but like just seeing from the other opposition side of things, going okay. That's how she's going. This is how she's going. Oh, I know this is the level we need to get if we want to get that next jump from Waffle to AFLW. Yeah, basically exactly that. Like you see, you see the jump skills and like all awareness. Like you, even just watching them, you're like, they know what they're doing. They know what's next. Like you can learn mm. a lot. It's like especially when you're trying to match it as well or stop it. Like you, a lot of like. I guess awareness, and, mm. yeah, really beneficial. To play. That's right. That's good. So, ooh, all right, leadership, Dakota. Is leadership something you've ever been a part of, or something that you've ever wanted to get into? Um, I wouldn't shut it down. I'll definitely try and build to it, but I do. I'm quite, I would say, shy. <laughs> I don't like to speak up heaps like oh, okay. all the group but not to and public speaking my forte so, but I no, just it, down. and that's fair i mean you're doing fine here i mean this is like a form of public speaking i guess you're doing fine here thank you no worries. now all right so now what was i going to say okay so Outside of foot interest, Dakota, do you have any outside of foot interest that you have? Uh, well, I'm still in school right now and I'm doing ATAR. Um, yep. I'm, my thoughts at the moment of what I'll do after school is I'll probably go to uni and try to be a physio. I guess that's an interest. Um, uh, and just the beach. Love the beach. Live near it, so it's a lot good. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, Dakota, I knew that was going to be an answer. I mean, I didn't even need to ask about it to know it was going to grow up. I don't think I've had not one Perth girl on or male on that has not mentioned the beach. I mean, 
it, it, it'd be interesting for a Perth person not to mention it more than someone saying it. Yeah, exactly. We love the beach down here. Love just going there with your friends is just the best. <laughs> mm. nothing, else, nothing else to do, but nothing better to do. <laughs> Very true. Now, photo day. This is an interesting question I like to bring up to some people these days. Photo day. Who would be the one, Dakota, that would just overdo the makeup or overdo something, their hair or whatever? Who would take forever and just overdo it? Who loves it too much or overthinks it too much? <laughs> oh, oh, that's... <laughs> um... Oh. <laughs> There's a, oh, I feel like we all try and get a little bit like prettied up because like, they usually do it up. Oh, well, actually, we got lucky they do it before training, so you just get there, fix your hair. Yeah. Um, oh, that's actually tough. Yeah. Who wants yeah. to look a million bucks? Who who just wants to? It basically they they may look a million bucks, but they just you know keep on putting more. And more, and keep going and going. Um, I'll say Gracie. I feel like she likes to keep good. <laughs> yeah, very good. Now, if your teammates Dakota were to describe you in a word or a sentence, how would they describe you? Um, probably <laughs> like like I said before, shy when you like first get to know me. Get to mm -hmm. know. You're not not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> do some that's, weird but. that's fair enough. Now, what are some quirks some people would say you have, Dakota, that you wouldn't necessarily like to admit? Um, well, I definitely stop with my sentences. Like when I'm talking, I just I think I my brain's moving too fast in my mouth sometimes and then I just I don't even and I'm like, oh, sorry guys. And yeah. Um, uh, I'll carry on an argument, but like a heated conversation, even if I'm not, just because I'm going to bring my friends. Yeah, that's, that's, fair, that's fair enough. Um, okay, so I've completely thought, forgot what I was going to say. Um, okay, <laughs> had a complete blank. Um, all right, so what are some fun facts about you, Dakota, that people may not know about you? Oh. Uh... I did gymnastic and dance for two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Did you get injured? Did you give up? Did you say, oh, I'm not doing this? How did that app stop? I said I went through that little stage of trying to figure out my sport. I literally think I did almost every sport under the sun. I was okay. Just... What I was... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Since you said a lot of sports in Dakota, did you do ever do cricket? No, I, that's not something I'm, done. I, I'm not fond of standing in the sun for four hours with long pants on. I get hot. <laughs> yeah, fair. I mean, you've been in Perth, so it makes total sense. I understand that. Um, all right. So now I've remembered it. Hidden talents. Do you have any hidden talents, Dakota? Do you like a secret sing, a secret dance? <laughs> you just mentioned. Uh, is there any hidden talents you got? Oh, I actually don't know if I have any hidden talents. Okay. Probably do, but like things that I just do without even thinking. Yeah. Like I couldn't even name it. Mm -hmm. um, That's fair enough. Any most prized possessions? Oh, <laughs> definitely phone. Um, <laughs> I love my car. I love to be around freedom to go. Um. No. Yeah, probably my necklace. I love wearing it. Oh. Yeah, uh, very good. There we go. We can see better there. Um, okay, so... <laughs> oh, gee, I'm, I'm going real well for myself today. I keep having a complete blank. Um, all right. So I'm just going to the next one. All right. So now goals, Dakota. I'm someone that loves goals. How are you in front of the goals? Are you someone that's confident in front of the goals? Would you rather be on the set shot, a pocket? Set shot on the run. Oh, honestly, I think I overthink it too much in the set shot. So I'd probably rather be on the run because then at least, like, if you're on a decent run and you miss it, at least you can be like under pressure. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, like literal pressure, not just like the internal pressure you feel on a set shot. 
Oh, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. That, that's fair. Now, this now I've remembered it. All right. Go to goal celebration, Dakota. What celebration do you play when you kick a goal? Is there anything? Um, I'll probably just jump in the air, go half five with my teammates, and being honest, probably work on that. Nice and basic. Is um any of your teammates try to convince you to do anything? And let's just say my success rate is pretty good at this. I had one person on from Claremont, coincidentally, who you might play this week if she is playing, um, do a goal celebration. One of her teammates and I were trying to convince her to do, you know, get out of the nice and basic thumbs up when you kick goals and all that. We're like, you got to do something else. So me and this other teammate of hers, we thought to her, we go, okay, what should we think you should do? This. So we said to her, do the double cobra. And she promised she stuck to her word. She bloody did it. The next week, we I had interviewed her the day before her game. So the next day she hit the goal. And what do I see? The moment she hits the goal, the double cobra comes out. Like, there we go. We did it. Now, if you were to get a goal and there was a certain celebration, would we be able to convince you to do one? Oh, I don't know. Give me some ideas and I'll say yes or no. <laughs> okay. Uh, the double cobra, so the double arm one. Yeah, probably. probably okay, nice. good. Oh, there you go. That's a nice and basic. Good. Love yeah. it. There we go. Oh, so if that's if that wasn't one, I mean, a lot of people are doing the shush, the Ginevan one these days. I don't know about that one, but the double cobra is a good one. Uh, uh, yeah, this one. <laughs> this is. I just. I'm not even making this up. Some of my goal king challenge invented this, and I thought it was funny, but I don't think it's something I'd have any. I wouldn't be game enough to do any game where they did like a mini aeroplane. So they got the goal, the hands out like the wings, and they ran around in the circle like an aeroplane. No, I'd probably trip. I'm not going to lie. I'd probably trip over my own feet. <laughs> and so, all right, okay. Dakota Sexton, if she gets a goal on the weekend or any point, the double Cobra's coming out. Now, you know now that you've said that, now I'm going to, when I check the stats and everything and replay the footage, I don't see it live. I want to go, okay. Goes with a goal. Let's rewind this. Let's see if there's anything there. Better be the double cobra. Yeah, or, or something. Yes, if it's not yeah. that, it's something. Uh, it's cool. I look forward to it, Dakota. Hopefully, Clem will let you kick a goal this week because I'm right. not going to be happy. <laughs> All right. So now, hopefully, there's a cheeky 50 meter penalty given because that's how the other person I was talking about got theirs. They were about 70 meters out. They got an infringement from the mark or something. So something like that would be nice. Yeah, hey. absolutely. There it is. There, there we go. Love it. Good job. Now, okay, right. So, mark or goal of the year? Which one would you rather do, and why? Oh, probably the year. Eh? It's like, like I don't think I've ever taken a good hanger. Like I feel like just getting a good hanger with good hang time, and like basically. Jumping over people, well, I feel like feeling you can't. Mm. So, I mean, you can't go wrong, can you? I mean, the mark, you could get a great photo, and it yeah. would still be on film, and your games obviously are filmed. So, yeah. obviously, nice highlights reel, and then the goals, the exact same. Um, we talk about the go-to solo. See, how perfect would be, in a perfect world, Dakota, you take the hanger and then have the shot, <laughs> and it's a great as well, the same passage of play. Oh, that would actually be amazing. <laughs> the cobra, they just uh, the the trifecta. You get all three, perfect. That'd be awesome. Very now, wonky. yeah, all in one moment of play. No time to gloat or no time to uh, go through the first one that you get the mark, and then just get the goal after, and then the celebration as well. Even better. I can't get much better than that. Now, no. uh, so. This is the hot topic food questions, Dakota. I don't know what's with people here in Australia. They get so worked up over these food questions and really debate it. Now, no pressure, but I've only ever had nine out of probably over 100. So, I mean, you wouldn't be the only one if you didn't. Only nine people have ever got six out of six of these food questions the way I would answer them. Uh, only, only five people have ever said the illogical wrong answer for this first question and this would be the biggest pressure of them all. Not one Perth person of probably 40 to 50 Perth people I've had on have never answered this question differently. So hopefully you're not the first. Hopefully. Now, hopefully. I think you'd be safe, but I'll be shocked now that I've said that. I'll probably jinxed it. All right. Yeah. Chicken parmi, Dakota. Is it a parmi or is it something else? 
call me. Phew. Good. Okay. Okay. Just, Good luck. No, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> you should have heard the first person that said something else. I mean, all, all well in fun, of course. And, uh, yeah, I got in this debate with them, Dakota. It was like, nope, nope. Tell me why I tell them. And they go, it just is a good bullshit. I said, spell it out for me. P-A-R-M-I. Oh, no, yeah. but it's just, so I'm like, no, you just spelled it out and pronounce it Parmigiana. I don't know. Anyone that said anything else is just plain out stupid. Or well, at least for that, they are. Yeah, you're literally creating a new word if you don't say Parmi, just saying. Like. Absolutely. Now, two for t let's go two for two. Pineapple on a pizza, yes or no? I can eat it, but I prefer it not. Okay, good. I'll accept that as a no because you wouldn't select it, in other words. Yeah. So, love that. Two for two. Good job. Right, oh. number three. Tomato sauce, cupboard or fridge? Cupboard. Perfect. Three for three. I don't know <laughs> why. I think, I think you're going to be the tenth person to get um all six right. All right, okay. So, favorite food? Oh, I'm definitely like a pasta or lasagna girl. I love my I, my dad's home cooked lasagna is the best. That's good, and I love that answer because that's pretty much an answer I would say as well. Not only is it something I like, is probably one I would choose in that spot. So four out of four, this is good. And I didn't give you the just for clarity, everyone. I didn't give Dakota the answers before this <laughs> either. That's good. All right, next one. Food you don't like. I feel this might be the one for some reason. Oh. Well, I'm definitely not a Brussels sprouts girl, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't like them. Good. Five for five. Perfect. <laughs> Good. I can't stand that either. I love how people pretend to p pretend to pass that off as something else. And go, if you go, like with zucchini, I think zucchini, some of going to look like cucumber a little bit. I hate zucchini, but I don't mind a cucumber. And like some people try and pass off, like, no, that's cucumber. I said, piss off. No, it's not. Yeah, it's not. Nice. Now, here we go. The last one. I think you'll be safe here. Favorite takeaway place? Oh, I'm probably gonna say Hungry Jacks. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's six for six. You've done it. You're the 10th person. Good job. Yep. Now, go to KFC. Uh, KFC, yuck. Um, go to Hungry Jacks order. Oh, I actually like the super stunner. I feel like it's just value for like your money. I'm not gonna lie because yep. literally cream chips, nuggets, and a burger and a drink. Like, can't really go wrong. Absolutely, very true. Um, all right. Now, oh, defenders, I feel like they deserve a bit more love and attention than what they truly get, Dakota. Um, obviously, the mids got the Brownlow, forwards got the Coleman. Rucks get recognised in Brownlow for these days. Do you defenders deserve your own official title of an award, at the, in particular at AFL, AFLW level? Uh, I would say so. Obviously, you've got the awards for everyone else. Why, why leave the backs out? On oh, no. So rude. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> So disrespectful to you defenders. Now, I've got a few more for you. I know you've got some things to do. So, all right. So, oh, this could be interesting. Uh, nicknames, Dakota. Do you get any nicknames at the club that you like or dislike? Um, well, my most common one is probably Codes. And then my mate Ari calls me Docky. Um, calls you what? Docky. Oh, yeah. I don't know where she got it from, but... <laughs> um. Um, interesting, yeah. that's fair. All right, I'll do some quick fire ones for you, Dakota. So, appreciate you coming on. So, celebrity crush, oh, Theo James. Okay, all right, next one. Okay, favorite music. Oh, I'm kind of a variety actually. I don't mind. Yeah, oh, nice. that's that's good. So, any particular genre then? Uh, obviously don't mind pop, don't mind country. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, variety actually. I don't, don't really mind if I like, it's, I don't mind the gen genre. I just like the song if I like the song. It's good. Now I'm going to quickly ask you this one, Taylor Swift. Are you Swift person? Are you a Swifty? Are you a Swift fan? Uh, I'll listen to her music, but I wouldn't call myself a Swifty. <laughs> Dakota, if you ever know anyone that hates Taylor Swift and they're annoying you or you just want to annoy them, I accidentally, unintentionally did this. I'm not making this up. I said to someone, I'll make his name up. I'll say it's John. I'll say, John, mate, oh, you got to – I know, that's right. I said, John, just shake it off. And obviously you know what that is. And yeah. he hates her. He's like, are you <laughs> kidding me? Stop talking about that. She's an absolute 
yeah. I don't talk about it. I'm like, far. It's funny because I didn't intentionally say that as a Taylor Swift reference. I just said it, and that's what. Yeah. yeah. And to top it all off, then once I knew about that, I'm like, John, all you're gonna do is hate, 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 and obviously being a part of the song, and you lost yeah. it. But now, a true fun story. One, when we do our chats on here through videos, chats and whatnot, we use this platform as well. And if I'm hosting it, which I am like now, I have the power to put any clips or videos on. So what do I do to piss them off when they're annoying me? Play the Taylor Swift song as well. <laughs> yes, you got the power. <laughs> oh, that's right. I've got the power. All right. Now, all right. So if you were the Waffle W CEO or AFOA for W for a day, Dakota, what rule are you adding and or removing? Oh. Shit, that's hard. Yeah. Is there anything that you don't mind in the rules that you would love to remove? How do you feel with the stand rule? How do you feel with time on? Do you feel that in the Waffle W, and I've shown this frustration before, um, that the clock should stop, especially yeah. at any point? Yeah, that's probably actually a good point. Stop the clock when the game's not going. Like, stop that's right. Then. Yeah, I don't like it because there was a Swan Districts game not too long ago, Dakota, where they lost by like two points or something. The ball was 70 metres out from their goal. They had a free kick. There was an injured player in the forward 50, and that last minute and a half was wiped out because the player was on the ground, and the siren went, so they can't kick from that far. It's like, that's, that's stupid. That's shit. Yeah, that is unbelievable. I cannot unbelieve. I'm still gobsmacked about that. Now, last one for pressure coming on. So, you can map out Dakota a dream scenario for you. So I'm sure A for W is something you'd love to get into one day. Um, if you map out your dream scenario for yourself from right now to the end of the year, what would Dakota Sexton like it to be? Um, I wanted to do well in footy and both ATAR. I'm mm -hmm. doing physio. I need to get a 90 ATAR, so I've got to do well in school. Um, obviously, probably just get a couple wins on the board for Peel. And yes. I said, see progress in my game. Obviously, hopefully get drafted at the end of the year. Yeah, yeah basically all that. Absolutely, Dakota. And just always know, if you ever get injured and you keep going into that physio side of things, you might be able to fix yourself. If you get yeah. injured, I got this. I've, I'm doing this now. I'm yeah. doing this. And obviously, <laughs> celebrating a few wins would be good. If I yeah. draft yeah. or some, and uh, Dakota, I'm sure we'll chat again at some point. I really appreciate you coming on. It's been great having you on. And all the best and hopefully the win on the weekend and many more to come. Appreciate you coming on. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. No, it's any time.